What is up, everyone? We are back for an update on our coral farming systems here at Tidal Gardens. Coral have been growing like crazy here, especially in the greenhouse, and it is getting to the point where their growth is outpacing our current methods to supplement calcium and alkalinity. Right now, we're using calcium reactors and then supplementing with two-part. We will be adding secondary chambers to the calcium reactors to boost their performance, but that is a story for another day. In theory, we could just use more two-part, but it would require a lot. And there are some minor downsides to using them that heavily over the long term, as they tend to build up salt. I don't mind tweaking our systems with two-part, but I don't want it to be the main source additive for calcium and alkalinity. What we chose to do instead was to install a calcwasser dosing system similar to what we have next door in the new building. Over there, we have these three big 2,500 gallon systems, and each one has its own calcwasser reservoir. This setup in the greenhouse is going to be slightly different in that we're going to have a single calcwasser reservoir that all five of the slightly smaller 1,000 gallon systems will be drawing from. Before we get too far into the install, let's quickly go over what Calcwasser is. We made a video earlier on this channel where we got into a little bit more detail, but in short, Calcwasser is a concentrated calcium hydroxide solution. It is a great additive for systems with lots of stony coral growth as it provides both calcium and alkalinity that these corals require, and it does so in a balanced fashion without giving off sodium or chloride ions that would throw off your salinity. Calcwasser is also great at raising pH because calc is a very basic solution. It has a pH of around 12. Those are the main benefits, but there are some potential side benefits as well, such as binding up phosphate by forming calcium phosphate, which then falls out of solution. That benefit may be minor, but these sorts of interactions seem to accumulate and I always anecdotally see great results in tanks that run Calcwasser. So guys, that in a nutshell is why we like Calcwasser and we want to add it to these systems in the greenhouse. You may be wondering why now and not sooner this greenhouse was built in 2002. Unfortunately, Calcwasser is easy to mess up if you dose it too quickly. Back in the day, we would just set up a bucket of it and drip it in slowly. Well, I have personally dripped it too aggressively and burned up a lot of my coral in the process. Calcwasser is caustic and very high pH, so improperly dosing it can be very problematic. Once we started adding more staff, I wanted to move to systems that were more idiot-proof because if I was that idiot in the past, there is definitely a risk of someone in the future making that same mistake. Fast forward a few years, now we as hobbyists have access to a multitude of easy-to-program peristaltic pumps. I personally haven't tried them all, but at one time or another, we've used the Camoar variety, we've used GHL, the Neptune Dose, and now our personal favorite is the Ecotech Versa. For transparency's sake, we are sponsored directly by Ecotech, but whichever one you're most comfortable with, go for it. The peristaltic pumps were a game changer because now you can dispense Calcwasser very slowly over the course of a day, with little risk of overdoing it. Now that we've covered some of the background, let's hop into this setup specifically. It is super simple. We are using 32 gallon Rubbermaid trash cans to make our Calcwasser solution. Because there are five systems drawing Calcwasser from this reservoir, it will likely need to be refilled daily. For this reason, we have a secondary 32 gallon Rubbermaid that we can pre-mix while the other doses. When that one fully empties, we just swap it over. For ease of use, we set them up on Rubbermaid trash can dollies we can easily roll them over to an RO source and back. We learned a while ago to put everything on wheels if possible. 
When it comes time to swap out the empty container for a fresh batch, all we need to do is take off the lid that has all the associated plumbing and swap it onto the new Rubbermaid trash can. This lid is using five quarter inch push connect bulkhead fittings that are made for PEX. We can run standard airline tubing for this application too, which is nice. We want to have the plumbing in the trash can draw water from a couple inches above the bottom so that it only pulls in that saturated calc solution rather than any of the undissolved powder that has settled out. As mentioned before, we are using a bank of Ecotech Versa pumps to deliver water to each of the systems in the greenhouse. Some of these tanks are far from the centrally located calculator setup. I talked to Ecotech and they said that the unit can handle 18 feet of head pressure, so it should not have any issue delivering calculator throughout this building to all the various sumps. Speaking of delivery, we will be dosing the calc into these 150 gallon sumps. This is only sort of ideal because I prefer to drip it slowly into an area of the tank that is both high flow and far away from any pumps. In these sumps, we have both our skimmer pumps and return pumps, as well as feed pumps for things like calcium reactors. There is plenty of flow, but the proximity to the pumps does make it a little bit of a maintenance chore. You see, Calcwasser likes to build up a chalky deposit on pumps in particular, so you have to service them more frequently. My hope is that if we dose it slowly enough over a 24 hour period, this accumulation will be minimized as the flow in the sump will quickly disperse all of that calc and send it to the other aquariums. Lastly, we like to clearly label everything here because it's not good enough to have one person do things right. We also have to prevent everyone that works here from doing it wrong. The more that we make stuff obvious, the less mistakes occur. So that's why we've gone through and labeled everything with big vinyl stickers and waterproof labels. Okay, that does it from here. I'm looking forward to firing this dosing system up and getting all these benefits of calc washer into these greenhouse tanks. If you want to know more about calc in depth, check out our earlier video on the topic. And if you're interested in building one of these for yourself, I've included some Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Until next time, happy reefing.